Hi, I'm Maura Ahrens Mealy um, of Women Online, and I am proud to have been with the Giving Tuesday team from the start uh, three years ago now. And the thing that I think is amazing about Giving Tuesday is that I see Giving Tuesday as having the potential to be the first movement, institution, event, whatever you want to call it, that really proves that social media can be effective at online fundraising. You know, traditionally, email has been the cash cow, the bedrock of digital fundraising. And whether it's a presidential election or a nonprofit campaign, usually people tell you that they get the bulk of their online donations through email marketing. But Giving Tuesday has shown us some great, great evidence that Facebook, Twitter, social media channels that people are on every single day can convert to online donations, and I think that's really exciting. So how can you use social media in your organization to raise funds and get new donors in Giving Tuesday. Let's start with the basics. If you think about all of your marketing as various channels and you're trying to reach prospects and donors, right? You have your direct mail file, you might have a phone file, you have an email list, you have people who come to your events. Social media is just another channel. So you want to think about who is the audience for that channel. You want to put really compelling social media content out there and then you want to bring them in, convert them on your website and get their email address. That's really, really important, especially as you run up to Giving Tuesday. You may find that day of, you can put messages out on Facebook, for example, and get people to click right over to a donation. That's fabulous. That's probably not gonna happen leading up to Giving Tuesday, so you want to think about your social media channels really as prospecting. How am I gonna throw out really, really great content on these channels that will get people to come to my website give me their email address so then I can talk to them when I want. So how do you get started? The first piece is to think about who are you targeting? Active supporters, new donors, you could do both. Social media is great at giving your active supporters something to do. People love to share content. They love to share things on their Facebook pages. They love to retweet photographs, post photos. If you think that your current supporters are going to want to get really engaged on social, give them stuff to share. It will just help build energy and engagement as you approach Giving Tuesday. The other thing is that they'll put the network effect into place. They'll tell their friends and then you'll get new people. Just remember always to have links and landing pages so ideally you can bring people back to you. Because remember, email is the only really reliable way to directly reach people. If you put something out on Twitter, the chance that you're actually going to directly reach people is slim because there's a lot going on, right? So think again about social as that prospecting tool. If you wanna reach new donors, social can be great. Really define your audience. You know, if you're a local organization, you're gonna have a very different target than if you're a national organization. If you have an audience that is moms, for example, moms really love Facebook, they really love Pinterest. If you have a younger audience, they might be on a different social channel. So do some research. There's great resources like quantcast.com and all kinds of free resources where you can look at the demographics of various social properties and choose which ones to invest in. You do not need to be on every social media platform. There are hundreds probably. You don't have to do everything, you just have to do things well and really invest in the platform or platforms of your choice. Think about what kind of content your organization has and how you can repurpose it. Do you have videos? Do you have photos? You know, photos work really, really well on Facebook for example. It's not about reinventing the wheel, it's about taking the content and the personalities that you have and finding the platforms that are right for you. You do not need to post every hour to Twitter or Facebook just because people say you do. It's really about having something to say. Then take a step back and think about the narrative arc of your Giving Tuesday campaign. What's the story that I'm telling, you know, from Thanksgiving till end of year? Do I have a cohesive calendar for this campaign? And sit down with your team and think about what is the editorial plan for this? What do my emails look like? What is my website going to look like? Am I going to do a website overlay? Am I going to have any special video or photo content? Am I going to have direct mail? The great thing about social media is you can start early and you don't have to do direct asks. In fact, I wouldn't. I would really use social media as a way to start introducing your Giving Tuesday campaign because social media is a conversation. It's not a one-way street. You want to listen and you want to get feedback. So as you build up to Giving Tuesday, maybe this is even in September, you're sharing stories, you're getting people excited, you're giving them sneak previews about what you're going to do 
around Giving Tuesday. And then starting around Thanksgiving, you can go hard, right? You can say it's only four more days till Giving Tuesday. Here's what we've got coming up. Make sure that your social media is consistent though with your other communications. My pet peeve is when I can tell that the intern is running the social media channels or that someone who isn't fully briefed with what the organization stands for is running social media. Remember, social media is the front line for new people meeting your organization and its brand, so you want it to be consistent and really, really good. Social is a really good place to experiment. You can try new messages, you can try out new voices, and you can play around a little bit, have fun in a way that it might be harder, certainly with a direct mail appeal, or even an email campaign because social media is much more ephemeral. So if you start early and you measure, you can actually use social as a way to kind of explore and play around with the themes that you might be using in your Giving Tuesday campaign. It's really important, again, coming back to identifying the platforms that worked for you to measure. And again, you don't have to spend a lot of money on software. You can even use free software. For example, if you have a hashtag that's dedicated on Twitter, you can use hashtracking.com. You can look into your Google Analytics and see how many referrals are coming, for example, from Facebook. You can use basic tracking, but again, you can't manage what you can't measure. So implement the discipline not only of planning social into your editorial calendar, tracking what works and finding out what drives engagement and then referrals to your website because that's what you really want. Giving Tuesday can be busy. So you might want to have separate campaigns. You might want to have a social media campaign, for example, that you start in October, you know, and you're kind of building up, you're introducing your organization, especially if you haven't been really active on social yet. This is a great time to start. Think about who's going to be the voice of your Facebook page and map out an editorial calendar. Then as you get closer in to Thanksgiving, you want to go big, right? You want to give your followers a sense that the next four and five days are going to be very special for the organization. You may have the tendency to say, oh no, it's too much. That's okay. Ignore it. Go forward. If you have good content and a compelling ask, it will pay off, I promise. Don't be scared. Start getting your audience ready for Giving Tuesday on your social media channels right before Thanksgiving. That's what data has roughly shown you know, works the best. And then have a special plan for Giving Tuesday itself. All bets are off on Giving Tuesday. You can tweet every hour if you want on Giving Tuesday. I give you permission, it's okay. People will not block you, they'll understand. And so I think that really when you're thinking about your social campaign, there's the period before Giving Tuesday, which is really about engagement, listening, learning, building followers, right? Hopefully getting new donors and prospects into that pipeline. Even if people aren't giving, a real great measure of success would be that you got a certain amount of new emails or certain website visits from your social channels before Giving Tuesday. And then as you translate into Giving Tuesday, you know, it's about really, really going hard with that messaging, having a really busy day on social and making it really exciting for people. And it's okay, just go for it. Another great way to use social media for Giving Tuesday is to engage the energy of the larger Giving Tuesday community. So follow the Giving Tuesday hashtag, retweet Giving Tuesday, let your followers know that you're part of something bigger because hopefully they'll get excited too. We had some really great organizations that took um, harness the energy of the larger Giving Tuesday community. Pathway Caring for Children in Ohio had one of the Hunger Games cast retweet their Giving Tuesday appeal. I mean, that's amazing. That doesn't happen every day. But if you're out there listening and engaging on social, you'll have a much bigger, better chance of amplifying your own messaging by engaging the larger Giving Tuesday community, which after all is what it's all about. Of course, you're going to be thanking them via your emails. You're going to be thanking all your donors after Giving Tuesday because that's so important. But don't forget to thank people via social media. Share results. If your results are good, if there are things that happen that you're proud of, shout those out on Twitter, on Facebook, wherever you have a presence. Do a thank you video and post it on YouTube. But again, this is about engagement and your community has worked hard for you. So let them know what they did and then you'll be ready to go to keep building those donors into year end and into next year. Mm -hmm.